my Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs, and cross Jerk. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need? Read for this new moon void, of course, then in Taurus to the full moon in Scorpio, April into May 2023. We'll talk about it. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons Mal for short. They're just my initials. Professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, almost 25 years in service at the time of this recording. May 1st, we're almost there. I am the author of Words of Grace from A Professional Witch. There is a Kindle version of it available. There is a link in the description box. You can click it and preview it for free and see some of the prayers, practices, and principles that have kept me in business for 25 years plus, because a lot of what I learned is in that book from way before I started uh, the company 25 years ago. And you can also read the dedication to my mother, a Cancerian sun sign, who I will be calling later. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and if you're down in my description box, do check out my Patreon. Seriously, the best career move I ever made. A members-only subscription platform that allows me to do all sorts of cool stuff over there. Right now we have eight levels of subscription. Seeker, human, hero, angel, witch, immortal, mystic, god, goddess is one tier. It is the top tier. They get everything that I've created since I started my Patreon over there. It's so wonderful. But all of my subscribers get the extended readings, past, present, and future, as long as they remain subscribers. The extended reads are juggernauts. They're usually close to an hour long. They're all relationship based and they are all timeless as well as all of my subscribers get me every morning and I'm not kidding every morning on what we call the daily check-in and unlisted YouTube live stream link so they can chat with me uh, uh, talking about the day's uh, magical what am I saying <laughs> A little glitch in the air today. There's odd astrology the day of this recording. Uh, we chat about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a little prayer, a little blessing, a little something, something to send us on our way, and it is my favorite way to start the day. And it's just the coolest thing that I think I've done to date uh, on Patreon. So if you feel so drawn, go check. Go look. Go look at the menu. Eight different levels to choose from. Loving it over there. Giving it the best that I got every single day. So uh, click the link. Come Patreon on Patreon with the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. But you can just call me Mal. Hey, my crab cakes. Hope you are all well. I got Cancerian friends around the world, apparently. So this one's for you and your cross watchers. We'll talk about it, but we got to do the explanation for the new crab cakes and cross watchers new to the channel. If you are indeed new, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about really anything. But in this case, a two week period. So a timed, not a timeless read. A waxing moon from new to full. Plant a seed and watch it grow. These five decks also represent the five magical elements in this uh, reading, this five card draw. Fire will start with, which represents your heart's desire, what you yearn for, what you burn for, will ground it with earth, stoke it with air, bless it with water, and then we will get you a card of spirit to align it all so you can plant a seed and watch it grow little by little by little uh, every day for two weeks. Let's look at this two week thing. I am a Virgo. Of course, I have a clipboard. We're looking at the new moon. It is an eclipse on Thursday, 420. <laughs> Take that as you will. Oh, a little Taurus kitty head bonking my ankle. Uh, but it goes void, of course, that, which means it gets out of, uh, I guess it would be in Aries, right, before it goes into Taurus. It goes void, of course, the same time of the eclipse at 12, 13 a.m. Eastern Time. I am in New York. Goes into, the moon goes into Taurus uh, at 12, 30 a.m. So not that big of a deal, not that long of a wait. Uh, uh, so that if you're going to plant a seed, you could certainly uh, wake up up on Thursday morning uh, and do that depending obviously on your time zone and I will say a really good new moon for money right Taurus a second house life values things we really value of course that's money and other things or health right on a Thursday the day of Jupiter and expansion and wealth and abundance just a really good day to plant a seed for really anything but then we got the two weeks of building, waxing, manifesting, attracting, whatever you want to call it, to the full moon in Scorpio, also an eclipse, uh, 134 
p.m. Eastern Time on Cinco de Mayo, uh, uh, May 5th. And I gotta say, a Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> Scorpio Moon Cinco de Mayo on Friday sounds like it's gonna get a little romantic sexual, just say it, right? That's how that vibe right there. Day of Venus, Moon and Scorpio, full Moon and Scorpio. When the Moon rides at her peak, then ye hearts desire seek. Or maybe other chakras, one would think. Um, and in between those two, we have two retrogrades. The only astrological events that I could... I mean, I could write down everything that's going on, but it would take forever. Uh, Mercury goes retrograde on the 21st. The day after an eclipse, we go into Mercury retrograde. Lucky us. And that's in Aries, right? So you're a Cancer. So that is a square. So that you know, right? Uh, 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 cardinal water and cardinal fire don't usually get along too well. In relationships they may, but elementally you could see the fire and water thing there. Uh, on May 1st, drawing the Circle Productions <laughs> anniversary 25 years and also Beltane May Day, uh, Pluto goes direct. Great. Uh, in Aquarius, right? So just be aware of that should you have any signs, I would think, in Aries or, or Aquarius. That could be uh, uh, helpful. So so there is going to be some rethinking and some going back over stuff that maybe didn't get completely transformed. Oh, great. So uh, this is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and check your other signs and cross watchers. You have the opportunity here to get some insight, some understanding, some sympathy, and some empathy for the Cancerian you are cross watching for. As well, if you want to help them, there are certain things in these five cards that you might find helpful to do in your own energy field and your own process of manifestation. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, is every time somebody manifests even one step closer to their heart's desire, they're helping everyone all of life on planet Earth because our heart's desires are part of our sacred contracts. Carolyn Mace, Anatomy of the Spirit, MYSS, she's PhD. Uh, they're written in. They're part of what we came in to do in this life. That's why they're written on our hearts, no matter how, wherever we run to try and escape from them or deny them, they're always there. So, uh, you'll be helping uh, the entire Cancerian Collective by really going for and manifesting your element of fire to bring it down into manifestation um, for all of life, but particularly for the Cancerian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, because this is their read. I guess that's about it. Uh, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. Hey, buddy. Hey, Melky. Or you want to come sit with me? We be a good boy. See, I'm mama to my cats. So, like, I was raised by a good mom. <laughs> I still am being raised by a good mom. I mean, the goddess and all that. You know, I got to take care of my boy. So, if I have to pull this reading over, I will. <laughs> so, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. And I will do the best that I can to help the crab cakes and their cross watchers manifest their heart's desire by fire, earth, air, water, and fire. Right? Fire, earth, air, water, and spirit doesn't really rhyme. It used to, whatever. Uh, the shift from all that explanation that I have to do every single time. I'm glad to do it for the new people to the divination that I was born to do. <laughs> that shift happens in the still point. So let's see if we can find it while I'm getting viciously head bonked on my ankles and calves by a Taurus cat. Will you go lay down, lay down, go see PC base. You're so cute and you won't let me pick you up. Because he's like a bowling ball with razor blades. <laughs> my three black cats. Go on, go lay down, sweetheart. People are going to think I'm just talking to the carpet. You could at least meow. Give me that tail. You do the best you can. Children. Teenagers. Give them an inch. They swim all over you. Good crab reference, huh? Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Here we go. Using the magical spell cards. By Lucy Cavendish, the shift is so drastic at the still point sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, using the uh, magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish for the element of fire. I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, drawn to this reading, what is the perfect spell fragment to help them ha uh, refine, hone, clarify their element of fire? What they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, or perhaps that which doth be required for them to manifest their heart's desire. Uh, this beautiful new to full April into May 2023.
Dream Sweet, Sleep Deep. This is a good card. Uh, sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. <laughs> Kathy Griffin, Sharon Stone flashback. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. So look, that is about closing your eyes. <laughs> Whoop, letting go of this world. Whoop, going into another one. Resting, right? Uh, 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 wondrous dreams. Now, of course, dreams can be aspirational as, as well. They're not always about the subconscious mind processing. A lot of what goes on in our sleep is just the nervous system releasing all the data. Conscious mind can't handle all the sensory data. We pass out, right? We instantly go subconscious and then unconscious. The subconscious mind takes in all that sensory data and puts it together. And I've been saying this for decades. If you ate a pepperoni pizza while eating the movie Jaws and you, you're having a dream about being chased by, down the beach by a vicious pepperoni, it's either very Freudian or it's dinner and a movie, right? So the interpretation of dreams, I'm always like that with. It's so personal. So maybe <laughs> somebody's heart's desire is just to get a good night's sleep, which I can relate to. But chances are, this is what is required. But let's see, got four more cards. So let's take that and ground it with uh, the crystal oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno for the element of earth, the fuel to feed the fire and to help you ground and manifest your uh, heart's desire. If you have the stone indicated, the cards are gorgeous. The book is really well written, too. Uh, and you want to use that as an amulet, a talisman, a touchstone, a magical carrier. You do you. If you don't have the stone indicated, clear quartz does everything, but you can use it anything just to help you like remember like tying a string around your finger that would work or it's like all right i got this thing in play for two weeks so that maybe you could do the mantra the spirit mantra at the end we'll see uh please take a nice deep breath still point <laughs> As I call upon my beloved Archangel, Ariel, <laughs> the Archangel of Lions, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, uh, Archangel of Wealth, Archangel of Nature, including the puppies and the kittens and the rocks and the plants, the ecosystem et al. Please, my beloved Archangel Ariel, one card in clarity for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers whoops, watching this video, who are drawn to this reading. What is their element of earth, the fuel to feed the fire, to help them ground and manifest their heart's desire that it, I would think would probably require uh, dreaming sweetly and sleeping deeply, this beautiful new to fall. Rutilated quartz, yay! Oh yeah, I'm wearing a big piece of rutilated quartz. This is the torch of Archangel Ariel. Had it for a long time, was a gift very powerful piece of magical equipment and yes i do sleep with it <laughs> every now and again pointy pointy nointy nointy uh the rutilated quartz here i am very familiar and this book blew my mind i mean there's stones in here i ain't never heard of and i've been in the new age metaphysical pagan spiritual industry for a very very long time even worked retail never again the retail times here we go your keywords vibrational healing higher mind and reconciliation to reconcile, now it speaks of reconciling with another person or other people. This is can be about reconciling within yourself as well. Vibrational healing, higher mind and reconciliation. You are subconsciously receiving loving vibrations and loving thoughts from someone connected to your past. An episode or conflict that hurt you emotionally is now being healed and reconciled by the power of forgiveness and unconditional love. Okay. Over the coming days, you may find yourself emotionally and mentally reciprocating this love as you reflect on a person or past event. Through this mutual exchange of love, past wounds are now energetically being healed and all negative attachments resolved and released. And you know, that's vibrational. It is absolutely vibrational, even every time you forgive yourself a little bit. You kind of forgive everybody else a little bit. I do the shadow reads, the eight card draws from full to new, uh, uh, the releasing part. So this seems like a continuation of this, but vibrational healing by definition doesn't mean you necessarily understand what's going on here. And how do you know your vibration? How do you feel? 
right? That's it. The physical, the physiological, the emotional, and the connection between water and earth, the emotional and the physiological. I mean, the chemistry of emotions alone change every cell in your body. So as a water sign, uh, certainly you sending love to someone, but it does feel like you're more in the receptive uh, vibe of this, I would say pay attention to your dreams and certainly in your daydreams, right? While you are resting. It's not like, okay, I can't stand this person, but I'm going to send them love. I wouldn't start there. I would say, okay, I have to send this person love, otherwise I'm in chains. <laughs> right? Ascended Master Buddy Hackett <laughs> said, well, he's quoted to have said, you gotta forgive, because if you don't forgive... You're home eating hot out and air out dancing, right? A chain against my brother is a chain against myself. Of course, of miracles, you know, holographic unity. How in the world are we going to transform this world if we're not willing to reconcile at least within ourselves, right? And then we reconcile all of life. So, mutual exchange of love. Past wounds are released. All right. Okay, so... Uh, cancerian, uh, rutilated quartz, dreaming sweets, sleeping deep or something like that. Let's get the element of air. Although we're using the Archangel Fire Oracle, Alexandra Wenman, uh, Findhorn Press. The Archangels are always there to help. They always know exactly what to do, but you have to invite them in. You don't summon an Archangel. <laughs> don't really. You politely request for their help. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all one beginning, middle, and end of the day. But for the element of air, what you are thinking about this, keeping in mind that air condenses into water, the conscious, what the conscious mind can't take goes into the subconscious. So uh, let's see what the element of air, because fire can't do its thing without air. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. <laughs> Melchior. As I call upon the pantheons of archangels, please, uh, beloved messengers of love, light, truth, and everything else, since each one of you seems to have a dominion to take care of here, one card in clarity, please, for the element of air for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, watching this video, receiving this uh, reading. Oh, uh, who is the archangel waiting in the wings with the wings and a message? Uh, to help them manifest their heart's desire by the element of air to stoke that element of fire that it seems their heart's desire may very well require a good night's sleep and some dreams going on there with the rutilated quartz of the higher mind vibrational healing and reconciliation in the element of earth who's the archangel? who's going to help them do this? to manifest their heart's desire this beautiful new to full Jophiel, J-O-P-H-I-E-L. I think the keyword is joy. What I love about this deck is they don't write the keywords on it, so you gotta look it up. And I think that is just the best thing. Tired of keywords. Keyword is joy. Let's see the message. The Archangel of Joy, Wisdom, and Beauty, Jophiel, governs the yellow ray of illumination, usually associated with the solar plexus, I think. Uh, like the Irish lass in her card. Oh! But I like it too. Uh, 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 like uh, the Irish lass in her card, she gives us the ability to add more gladness to our lives. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I have a thing for the British Isles. Past life bleed through. Uh, she also helps us to learn and teach at the highest levels, enabling us to find the answers to important questions, see the beauty in all things, and think more positively. Well, that's cool. Let's jump to the message. Be joyful now. Be joyful. Let go of your heavy physical and emotional burdens. Release your baggage. Allow new clarity and happiness to pour into your life. Then you can rise up out of the gloom and fly higher. Okay. So it feels like the Cancerians, if they are empaths, and I've yet to meet one who wasn't, uh, might have be absorbing some psychic stress from the outside world. Now, yes, it's, we're all one. But that's why empathy, water signs in particular. It's like that scene in Jurassic Park with the little glass of water, right? You see the ripples before you hear or see what's going on. It's like that, right? So remember, if you are an empath, if you 
you're emotionally sensitive, if you're vibrationally sensitive, you don't know, it could be the person next door, depending on how wide your energy field is. So the reconciliation here is to reconcile you back into a place of joy. But that teaching part of it, I think, is amazing. My mom's a teacher, nursery school teacher. So that is sort of like teaching by example, right? Like, who do you want to be in this life? And I think that's the aspirational part of this. But the reconcile, reconciling of the past is just essential. All right, Joe Fail for Joy. I like it. It's easier. Joe Fail for Joy. Great. Not right, Melky. <laughs> like a little black cat loaf right next to me. He's so good. They guard me. This house could need is more warded than Fort Knox. I was ever pretending. Okay, let's do the element of water using the whispers of love, uh, Oracle by Angela Hartfield, dedicated, consecrated to the higher selves of all involved with the element of water is emotion, your element, crab cakes, uh, and the love that is divine power, which feels like is going to be going on, at least with that rud uh, rudulated quartz thing. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, for the Cancer Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, what is the piece of information, inspiration, insight they need for the element of water? To help them bring love uh, to their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, dreaming sweet and sleeping deep with reconciliation, engaging the higher mind uh, with some vibrational healing here calling upon the assistance of Archangel Jophiel, that they could see this differently. And if there has been gloomy, which could be an empathic thing, the, that mental part of it, some clean, fresh, joyful air will probably do the trick to clear some of them clouds. So what's the element of water? Higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, to help them manifest their heart's desire, this beautiful new to fall. Spiritual connection, past life card. Uh, this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, now it is speaking relationship, but that can be a relationship with people. That can be a relationship with a place. It can be a relationship with thing, like a substance. Or twenty, just saying. Uh, 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 but probably this is about you and another person, and there is joy available. You know, sometimes we go through some rough patches with people in our lives, reasons, seasons, and for sometimes it's a lifetime from womb to tomb. And usually those are family members. Um, uh, or lack of family members g can drive us into all sorts of other tribal relationships with groups. But to know that this is something that you've done before in other lives. Now, the soul is the immortal part. I teach human, hero, immortal God. That's the ego, the personality, uh, the soul, and the higher self. Your soul experiences all of your lives in a linear progression. At least that's my experience, the higher self experiences all of your lifetimes simultaneously. That's why it's often called the oversoul. Oh, over, oversoul of something seven, Seth Robert, uh, Jane Roberts, uh, something about oversoul seven. I'm going to read that again. I wonder if there's an audio. Uh, but anyway, so yes, this is uh, a thing that has gone on in other lives for you. Uh, thematically, at least, certainly people experience a lot of past life information in sleep, right? In dreams. Uh, because the subconscious is the hallway, if you like, uh, to other dimensional overtones, etc., etc., etc. It's a bit much. But with that rutilated quartz vibe there, to reconcile stuff from a past life and this life, how many times do you want to come back to do it, right? Let's get it done. Get her done. Oh, I believe I just did that. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's card down. Matt Kahn, Healing Mantra Deck. Uh, these mantras work if you work them. And I would think particularly with Jophiel uh, in the element of air, something verbal, something mental could very be very uplifting. So let's ask the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly which one works best for y'all. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> it's 
still point. You know, let that settle in. As I call upon the ascended masters of the General Assembly, please, uh, beloved ones, one card in clarity. For the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video who are drawn to this reading, uh, what do you got? The perfect healing mantra to help them manifest their heart's desire. The card of spirit to charge this up to manifest their heart's desire. That I would think does require uh, dreaming sweet and sleeping deep for that reconciliation, right? To ground that into their, their physical lives, right? That reconciliation, accessing the higher mind that vibrational healing calling in the help of Archangel Jophiel feels key because the mental component here could be seen through a glass darkly the witch just gave you a new testament right right it could be like and whew, just a squeegee that third eye in a joyful way hey maybe lemon joy to squeegee that Woo, what you got uh, for us with the element of water to help them uh, with, uh, to manifest their heart's desire, this beautiful, beautiful, beloved Sun and Masters, we the spirit mantra of dissolving judgments. I don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey. And that mantra has been immensely helpful, particularly me dealing with other Cancerians. That may be a little bit more on the lead end of the scale than the gold, but hey, every day is a winding road. We're all doing our alchemy. Oh, I opened right to the page, dissolving judgments. I think that's another good sign. So uh, check this out. Uh, I don't have to like the actions of others in order to love my journey. And isn't there something about not taking it personally there? Right, Don Miguel, please pick up the courtesy telephone, Don Miguel Ruiz. When judgments are dissolved, you don't have to enjoy the actions of others in order to glean benefit from them. When you know that every moment has been created to help each soul shine the brightest, it becomes easier to not take things personally. There we go. Uh, instead, you are able to appreciate the positions life has put you in as evidence of your evolving mastery and form. This mantra is ideal for for learning to speak your truth, cultivating empathy, and trusting the universe, which is my go-to. See, I don't surrender to people out here first. I surrender that way. I'm like, you show me, I have no idea. We see any being teeny tiny little part of this. There are five senses in the physical world and thinking we know. So in order to be emotionally free, it's okay to dislike things. It's often an intuitive hit going, oh, some feels out there, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like to, and of course, watching the news. I mean, how how Trigger McTriggerson do you want to be every time you turn on the TV? You can say, whoa, empathic shockwave there, right? Trigger, 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 right? But essentially, a judgment, and this is from Matt Kahn, he says, a judgment is just our opinion that something's not part of the divine plan. And what do we know, right? And if you have that kind of power that you know everything going on in the divine plan, you really don't need a YouTube read. You know what I mean? I, I don't even have that. I mean, I'm good. But that's above my pay grade. I think if we actually saw the whole divine plan all once, our brains would melt and we, we, they'd lock us away. Right? Be talking in code and shit. Not that we don't anyway. So, uh, interesting read here. Obviously, the subconscious and unconscious mind, there's something going on here. Uh, with the higher mind, which is the mind of your higher self. So uh, let me put this together for you in a blessimation, a combination of a blessing and a summation. Uh, that will conclude the reading at the end of that, but if you want to hang out, I'm going to talk about Drawing the Circle Productions, uh, 25th anniversary, and some changes that are being made. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's try and do this with some happy, happy joy, joy. Still point serious about our joy. <laughs> As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for my beloved Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, suns, and cross watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to manifest their heart's desire by them dissolving judgments because they don't have to like the actions of others in order to love their journey. Every day is a winding road. Everybody's got their own highly individualized curriculum. Who are we to judge? We just gotta love us. 
and others, particularly if we're in a spiritual connection, because whatever this is about, uh, this has got echoes from other lives. The connection goes beyond this lifetime. So to call upon the Archangel Jophiel for joy, to be lifted up, to see through a glass lightly instead of darkly, to see clearly from the eyes of joy, certainly more of an optimistic uh, thing they're working with the energy of rutilated quartz for the higher mind to come in and do the vibrational healing for a reconciliation to reconcile even within our own selves can then whoo, move that out into the world making this world a better place and may it all come to them for or for that may it all come to them i guess i should say uh, in the way best suited but it would seem that their heart's desire does require Dreaming sweet and sleeping deep. So. Sleep that's deep. And lasts till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. For the well-being of all. And with harm to none. As I will it. So let it be done. So would it be. And so it is. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up right now. Do it. <laughs> and uh, subscribe and comment and hit the notification bell because what that stuff does is just helps other people find the reading here on YouTube. Because I'm on Patreon where there's none of that. You sign up for one level of subscription. You can change levels of subscription anytime you want, either direction, by the way. But you get all of the content that is on that level of subscription since the day I started Patreon to the day you get there. And as long as you stay subscribers. So we got a lot of cool stuff going on. The daily check-ins are wonderful. I love doing them and they're just a hoot. Now, 25 years ago, I started drawing the Circle Productions and I've been charging $100 an hour for private sessions, hands-on healing, spiritual counseling, readings. It's time to change. If I went over the hour, it was on me. If they wanted to tip me, that was on them. And I uh, usually always go over. So uh, that is changing May 1st. However, there is a link in the description box uh, as things are at the time of this recording that will explain everything you need to know about booking a reading with me, but perhaps we're afraid to ask. Uh, but the prices are changing. And, uh, you know, whether we Zoom recorded or not, I'm working on that. So if you book me before May 1st, even if you want to book the session for December, I will honor the $100 uh, an hour price. But after that, the price Prices are going to change, so book me now if you like. Not much time left. We're almost at May 1st. But most importantly, do this. Really, brutalated quartz will probably not bust the bank, but at least get a clear quartz, right? Sleep with it, one would think, and call in uh, Archangel Jophiel because we are all worthy of joy, and you don't have to like other people's anything in order to find your own. Joy is the natural state of the soul anyway. So have at it. I love you. Do your best. Heal. Hail. Farewell and blessed, blessed be.